The process begins with raw lumber. Robotic arms grip each piece, measure it with precision, and feed it into the cutting line. Once the lumber is positioned, the saw cuts through each piece with exact measurements. No waste, no errors, just precision engineered cuts. Ready for assembly. After the cuts are complete, the robots begin assembly. They're constructing the door header, a critical structural component designed to carry the weight above the door and distribute the load, preventing the wall from sagging or collapsing. Next, OSB sheathing is attached, adding structural strength and preparing the wall for exterior finishing. Then, the completed header is now transferred to the next station on the line, where the full door frame assembly will begin. Next, robotic arms pick up pre-cut lumber and position it precisely alongside the header laying out the framework for the door. Once the pieces are in place, automated nailers drive fasteners through the frame, locking everything together into a solid structure. With the door frame complete, it's transferred to a new platform where construction of the first wall panel begins. The next step is assembling the full wall frame. A robotic arm positions the first vertical stud at the end, marking the beginning of the wall structure. Then another stud is positioned and secured with screws, connecting the two pieces and building out the wall frame section by section. Then the final stud locks into place, completing the outer frame. The perimeter of the wall is now fully assembled. Next, the wall plates are installed. These horizontal members tie all the studs together, distribute loads across the wall, and provide a stable bearing surface for the roof or upper floor. Following this, house wrap is applied over the entire frame. This barrier keeps water out while allowing moisture to escape, letting the wall breathe. Once the house wrap is in place, a plywood layer is installed over it. This adds structural strength and protects the barrier, sealing the wall assembly. With the exterior sheathing complete, robotic arms lift the entire wall panel, rotate it, and place it down flat for the next phase of assembly. Now, electrical outlet boxes are installed along with conduit piping that will later house all the wiring throughout the wall. After the electrical boxes and conduit are in place, insulation is installed between the studs. This layer regulates temperature, improves energy efficiency, and provides soundproofing for the home. Once the insulation is in place, plywood panels are applied over the interior side, enclosing the wall assembly and creating a smooth surface. Next, a robotic arm moves across the panel, driving nails through the plywood and locking it securely to the frame with precision and speed. Next, a laser-equipped robot cuts openings for windows and doors while trimming off any excess plywood with perfect accuracy. Then, the cut pieces are removed and the completed wall panel is transferred to the next station for further assembly. Another layer of house wrap is applied only to the exterior facing sections that will be exposed once the panel is moved outside. The completed wall panel is lifted by robotic arms and positioned vertically, ready to be joined with other sections of the home.
Then the wall panel is carried over and secured to a wooden base, anchoring the structure and preparing it for the next connection. Next, nails are driven through the base plate, locking the wall panel firmly in place and strengthening the connection. The next wall panel is brought in and positioned, nails secured to both the base and the adjacent wall, connecting the structure together. The long wall panels are carried into position and secured with screws, completing the rectangular perimeter of the first room. Next, the roof framing is constructed. This structural framework acts as the skeleton for the roof, designed to support the weight of the roofing materials and distribute loads across the walls. Once complete, support posts are installed on top, carrying the load down through the structure to the foundation. Then, the completed roof frame is lifted by robotic arms, positioned over the walls, and secured in place to cap the structure. With the room fully assembled, it's lifted and loaded onto a truck, ready to be transported outside for final on-site assembly. The truck transports the room across the facility to a waiting crane, which will lift and position it during the final assembly. Then the crane hooks onto the room, lifts it carefully into the air, and lowers it onto the foundation supports, aligning it precisely with the building site. Next, another room is loaded onto a truck and transported outside, joining the first module at the assembly site where the house is taking shape. Then, the crane lifts the second room and carefully lowers it onto the foundation supports, positioning it directly alongside the first module. Following this, the third room is lifted by the crane and positioned onto the foundation supports, expanding the structure as the house begins to come together. Once all the rooms are in place, the bases are connected and secured, linking the modules together into a unified structure. With the base connections secured, the final room is lifted and carefully positioned onto the foundation posts, completing the main floor layout of the home. The roof panel is lifted by the crane and lowered into position capping the structure and enclosing the home's interior. The next roof panel is lifted by the crane and carefully aligned with the first, extending the roof coverage across the structure. Then the second roof panel is positioned on the opposite side mirroring the first and completing that section of the roof structure. Next, the final roof panel is lifted and secured into place, completing the entire roof and fully enclosing the home above. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe. But before you go, you need to see what's next. We're taking you inside a workshop where electric motors are built entirely by hand. Trust us. It's worth the watch.